Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In the previous tutorial, I have shown you how to extend your network wirelessly with the AP client configuration. So we are creating another network with a different IP range or subnet and it's working fine. For this video, I will show you how to extend your network wirelessly as well. But the two networks are going to have the same IP range or they are all in the same subnet. In the previous video, this is 192.168.a.1.24 So this one will be .a.101.a.102 And the extended network is .1.1 and then .1.10 and .1.101 However, for this video, we are going to create a Wi-Fi bridge or Wi-Fi repeater bridge or whatever you call it and all the device will have this same IP range so it will be something like this all right so this is how it look like and let's get started this is our OpenWRT router the Raspberry Pi 4 so in order to configure the Wi-Fi bridge, we are going to need two packages. Let me show you. System, Shopware, and then we are going to install the two packages. Relay D and Lucy dash proto dash relay. So in my case, I have these two packets installed. So it will be show up here as well. If you are using a normal router, then you will have no problem installing the two package. However, if you are using the Raspberry Pi 4, you only have one Ethernet port and you need to follow my tutorial for how to set up Lucy for Raspberry Pi 4 and while you are having a good internet connection, please run the OPKG install Relay D and OPKG install Lucy Proto Relay just like this. Let me show you how to do this. Follow the normal procedures. First, you need to run OPKG and then update. And once OPKG update finish, you need to run the second command, which is OPKG install Lucy. Is that correct? And now the third one, you need to install the OPKG install Lucy dash proto dash relay and once you install this package it will automatically install this package as well all right so after that you can log in to your Raspberry Pi 4 as usual and start the configuration let's move to the next step which is wireless configuration and interface configuration let's go to network and then wireless the raspberry pi 4 has a single radio and it support nac for the best performance i'm going to use the ac all right so click the scan button and it will show you the list of the ap This is the asset point that we are going to connect it to. So open up the rt dash dash 5 g Click the Join Network button. And then you need to input the password. So it is when tech corner. This is one of the test AP that I have set up previously. Alright, for the name of the network, we can leave it at default. And for the firewall zone, set it to LAN. All right, and then hit submit. All right, so for the band and the channel, if you're not sure what is the channel, you can leave it at auto. All right, now you can hit save and save and apply. Let's see if the connection is up. Perfect. It is up for the Raspberry Pi 4. The mod is N and the band is 5G. However, for your normal router, it should be 
AC mode and then 5 gigahertz all right so just take note on that now we are connected to the AP and let's move to the next step which is the interface configuration right now we can see that our WWAN interface has an IP address of 192.168.8.160 so let me update IP address .a.160 all right and our LAN IP is 192.168.1.1 just right here and once you set up the Wi-Fi bridge you will not be able to access to this IP anymore let's go to the LAN interface this is 192.168.1.1 for now click on the edit button and then for the DHCP server click the ignore button and hit save and then say and apply so the next time you are connecting to the router you will need to manually change your IP to 192.168.1.x in order to accept the OpenWRT router but for now our computer still received the leases and it still got an IP address of 192.168.1.2 before we proceed, I want to highlight that the LAN IP range of the Raspberry Pi 4 or the extended network should be different from the main network. So in this case, 192.168.1.1 and right here, 192.168.8.1, they are different. So it is okay to proceed. However, if you have the same IP range from this one and this one, then you will need to modify your LAN IP range by yep, changing this one the static IP address v4 maybe like dot three dot one and then yeah do the same for the DSCP server but for this case we are not doing this so just leave it so all the reparation is finished and now let's create the Wi-Fi bridge interface so click the add new interface the name will be Wi-Fi bridge or whatever you want for the protocol it will be relay bridge and hit create interface for the local IPv4 address it should be an IP address that belong to the IP range of this main network however this IP address should be outside of the DHCP range of the router. So for OpenWRT, we can see that the leases normally start from 100 and then ends at 150 or something like that. So we can use 192.168.8.5 for example, and it should be good to go. So let's put it here, 192.168.8.5. And then for relay between networks, we need to specify the LAN and the WAN. And finally, on the firewall zone, aside to the LAN zone as well. So basically, we are all good. Let's take a look. 192.168.8.5. And you can see, and yep, hit save. And finally, save and apply. Perfect. We can see the interface up and running. And right now, we are still connecting to the router at 192.168.1.1. But after we restart the router, we will no longer able to communicate with this IP address anymore. So let go system and reboot and perform a reboot. All right. And right now I will change my network connection to GSCP. So previously it is 192.168.1.2, you can see, but now it should be an IP address from 192.168.a.x. let's see so this is ethernet 7 
still no IP address received. Maybe it takes some time. Perfect. It is up right now. So the detail 192.168.a.158. And yep, all is good. So we can see that the extended network is now 192.168.a.x, which is in the same subnet with the main network. All right. So let's perform a speed test and see uh, the performance. I'm using the Raspberry Pi 4 so the wireless hardware of the Raspberry Pi 4 is not really good that's why the download and the upload speed is not stable in this case but with a normal router it should be a good result now we are in the same network so the device in this network should be able to communicate with the device in this network as well as the Habanero Development Kit Lucy page. So let's check it out. 192.168.a.1. And yep, this is the Habanero Development Kit. So it is a good thing that we can communicate with the Habanero Development Kit at 192.168.a.1. However, we lost the connection to our Raspberry Pi 4 routers at 192.168.1.1 and when you want to connect to this router Lucy page you will need to manually change the IP address from 192.168.a. something to 192.168.1.3 for example and only then and only then you will be able to communicate with it again. So, so far I have shown you two tutorials to extend your network. One with the AP client mode and the other one is the Wi-Fi bridge. So if you like the video, hit the like button and if you don't like it, hit the thumb down and tell the reason so that I can improve it. Thanks for your time to watch the whole video and if you have any idea or questions feel free to leave it in the comment section and yes i got your inquiry about the gel ib blocking and then also some way to secure your network so this will be my plan so stay tuned and thanks for watching